Welcome back to the Empire Wizard. In today's video, I'm going to discuss Universal's newly themed lands. And don't get too excited, they're not unveiling a new land, but Universal, instead of Upper Lot and Lower Lot, which they separated their Hollywood Park into originally, there's still, of course, the Upper Lot and Lower Lot, but they have made each grouping of rides into a spe specified themed land, except for a few, and we'll go over those um, right now. But let's Go over the theme lands as per the website, um, SonyUniversityHollywood.com. And then you go to under things to do, it says explore our themed lands right here. You click on it. Then you get to this page and it tells you all the, the themed lands they just made. So we're going to go over this. Discover, it tells you what entertainment, rides, and etc. are in each land. And we'll go over some omissions that they still have not added to the website. This was uh, updated on Friday. It's now Monday afternoon, and there's still nothing here. So we will speculate as we go along. So let's go ahead and hold on. <coughs> okay. They say they have 10 themed lands. That's definitely a bit of a stretch, especially because they're considering City Walk as its own land. It's not even inside the park, but in some of the other lands are very, very small, like Transformers Metro Base, but for the sake of things, they're saying they have 10 theme lands, so they have 10 theme lands, and we're going to count them here and see if they <clears throat> include Springfield in there. So, first off, City Walk. Uh, it's not part of the park, so I'm not going to click this full the land, but they say City Walk is part of the park. Minion Land. This is very interesting. So, now Seagull Life of Pets. Super Cool Me, Minion Mayhem, Super Silly Fun Land, Minion Cafe. All this is in, of course, the character meet and greets are all part of Minion Land. I think because there's a big illumination sign on top of the Minions Riot Show building and Seagull Life of Pets is on here, of course. They should be called Illumination Avenue or something, Illumination Lane or Illumination Avenue to just do a broad Illumination Land. And later on, some rumors have pointed to another Illumination Addition replacing the French Parisian Courtyard area. So I feel like it wouldn't make sense. Since it's a Minion ride, it wouldn't make sense to say Minion Land, but the pre or maybe like Illumination Avenue or something along those lines with the name of Illumination in there. But yeah, rides and attractions, we have pets. This is me in Super Silly Fun or Super Silly Fun Land and the meet and greets of there. So that's Minion Land. That's the newly official Minion Land. Wizard World of Harry Potter. Self explanatory that nothing has changed there. You have Flight of the Hippogriff and Harry Potter Forbidden Journey, as well as the various shows and elements of that land. But the plaza area, the front entrance, which I never knew what to call it. Now I know what to call it. It's called Hollywood. Now, other Universal Parks, if you know, have Hollywood areas in them as well. I believe Universal Studios Florida has one. Universal's Beijing and I think Japan's entry lane is called Hollywood as well, I believe. So they're kind of in line with that. And a lot of these names you'll find are actually lands of names at the international parks or on the uh, other Universal Parks, like Transformers Metro Base, where we'll get to. So the front of the area, I don't know what it was called before. I used to call it just Main Street or something, or L.A., but now it's called Hollywood, so now you know what's going on here. And, of course, you have your stores, Kung Fu Panda's part of Hollywood. It's the only attraction in there. And Universal Studios Store, the Super Nintendo World Store, uh, and all that good stuff. Moving on down, of course, Jurassic World is its own land. I would have thought they, I mean, I guess it makes sense to call it Jurassic World, but it would have been a cool opportunity to call this Isla New Bar, just like they do in uh, New Islands of Adventure. All those called Jurassic Park there, too. But, you know, they have the restaurant on the bar, Isla New Bar. So, that would have been a cool name, a unique name, uh, besides just Jurassic World. But I love this picture here, blue. But a gorgeous thumbnail picture right there. But, yeah. So... That's what's going on there, and of course you have the Jurassic Cafe, the um, 
Jurassic Outfitters and Jurassic World Ride of the Raptor Encounters. That's, again, pretty self-explanatory. That mini land was made in 2019 in its current condition. Another interesting addition, though, was Production Plaza. Right? And I said Hollywood included DreamWorks. It didn't. Production Plaza actually includes the DreamWorks leader featuring Kung Fu Panda, but it also includes the New York streets area, as well as the Parisian Courtyard and the Paris Tour de France area. Again, that area later on down the line will probably get absorbed into Minion Land when Illumination Dark Ride pops in over there. But right now it's part of Production Plaza, but it's very interesting. As if you saw my other update, you'll see in the Things to Do section, they have the restaurants and dining with La Cocina and all that good stuff. And the shopping with the Animation Studio Store. But entertainment, under entertainment, they mentioned that you, your dog can sit. These animals can act. Watch as talented exotic birds, birds, cats, and dogs show off or help shelf skills that help them land the roles in Hollywood films, which is the animal actors. They had to advertise the animal actors here, but they don't advertise special effects. Again, rumor has it that they are building up some sort of stage in the main Universal Studios Plaza, or, or the production plaza now, um, and that's going to reopen in May, according to a TM. They said that project will, be, will open in May. So maybe they'll have a modified version of the Animal Actors show coming in May, which would be amazing because that would add yet another bring back a show because we obviously lost two of them and we'd just be down one show instead. And even if it's something temporary just through the summer till something more permanent like Born comes, then uh, it would be nice to just have some more entertainment, live entertainment in the park. So I thought that was very, very interesting. So we'll see what happens in May. So don't be surprised if the anime actors do return this summer. Even if it's just for like a limited summer or summer run or something. Because this could be like a this stage could be used for a Halloween Horror Night show. Um, if it does come. And any other type of seasonal show. They can have rotating shows, which would be quite nice. And, and something to bring back the locals and maybe get new people to get an annual pass. So I thought that was very interesting in this update. Moving on next. <laughs> Down to the Studio Tour Plaza, which is just very self-explanatory. Studio Tour Plaza includes the Studio Tour um, and everything you can do there. Super Nintendo World, of course, its own land, um, own world. And that's, um, that is, again, self-explanatory. Mario Kart with all the games. Plenty of Super Nintendo, Nintendo World videos. You can check those out in the app. Transformers Metro Base. This one's very interesting because this one includes Studio Transformers, right? So that meet and greet, the gift shop, but also includes Studio Cafe and Studio Scoops, but not Pan Express or not Mummy, and Mummy's not its own Egypt land either. It's just nothing. Springfield, you'll see, is not on here as well. We'll talk about those at the end. But Waterworld is its own land, and, and Beijing as well. The Universal Studios, or uh, Beijing, Universal Beijing. <coughs> Waterworld. Is its own land as well. So let's see Waterworld having its own land here. I know some rumors have speculated that it won't let us pass this summer. Um, that would be kind of sad. I really like Waterworld. But we shall see. It's encouraging that it got its own land, which is good. And that's it. That's the 10 theme. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 theme lands that are here. Mummy's not included. Panda Express is not included, and Springfield's not included. Springfield is certainly more highly themed than Transformers Metro Base, and it's not included. Will it be around for much longer? Again, I've heard um, from a couple sources from as far back as last year that it'll, Springfield will be leaving in 2024. Now, the Fast and Furious concept art certainly shows at least some part of Springfield seeming to be rethemed. At least the left, the restaurant's and stuff, uh, you know, closest to the sh uh, station. That could be just for a concept art. Who knows? Um, but very, it's very something to watch. I feel like they didn't do that on accident. I feel like they did it on purpose. They even said 10, they even say in the, you know, their description, 10 themed lands, right? So, very, very interesting to watch uh, Mummy and Springfield, 
even if a Simpsons ride stays, Springfield could still be rethemed. Who knows? So, we'll be watching that very, very closely. But what do you guys think of these new lands? Our new names for new lands. Do you agree with me? Minion Land, specifically, should be renamed like Illumination Avenue or Illumination Lane because it's not just minions. There's pets in there as well. Plus, maybe more later on down the line. Thing kind of really limits themselves if they just call it Minion Land. <clears throat> but maybe that's what well, <clears throat> people or families and kids will draw to. Like, oh my gosh, Minion Land, and maybe that'll make it more of a draw. I'm not sure. So maybe they did that for marketing purposes. But I still think, <clears throat> for directional purposes <clears throat> and marketing purposes, Illumination Avenue would be best. But what do you guys know? Let me know of the 10 theme lands. City Walk is here as a land. What do you think about that? What do you think about the omission of Mummy, Simpsons, Irish Springfield, also including Simpsons, and Panda Express, <clears throat> and Transformers Metro Base, including Studio Scoops and Studio Cafe, which have nothing to do with Transformers? Let me know all that in the comments below. Subscribe for more. Universal updates and have a fantastic day. Bye, everybody.